Hey everyone, Sam Patterson from Open Bazaar here. Wanted to make a quick demo video of our new user interface. This is a prototype. There's still bugs, it's not complete. Um, I'm also viewing it in browser, but it will eventually be a standalone Electron app. Um, here's where we're at so far. When you start, you will be shown uh, a few questions for an onboarding process, such as your country, the currency you use, your time zone, and a Bitcoin address, which allows you to receive refunds uh, from a moderator if there's a problem. You can also register a handle through one name. Instead of having this long string of characters, you can get a, an easy handle to use. This is optional, you can skip it, as well as uh, being able to choose your avatar. When you first start it up, it's going to connect all local nodes and display their products on this home screen here. It'll also display the stores in a list view. You can, of course, uh, click to navigate to the specific product, which will bring you to their uh, the specific product here, and then to the storefront if you click on store, showing all their products. If you wanted to buy a product, would click buy. It'll allow you to choose your payment type. You can choose moderated, which uses a third party moderator in case of a dispute, or you can use direct, and the Bitcoin will go directly to the vendor. It lets you put in your shipping address. And this will be familiar to Bitcoiners, but this is the, the payment display here. It tells you how much to send, gives you a QR code of the address to scan, as well as the address and text here. We support linking in the navigation bar here. So if you wanted to go to a specific store, you could put in their, uh, their GUID, you could search for the name of an item, or you could put in the name of the store specifically. So our store for testing here is at Wolf. Mike Wolf is the lead designer on the project. This is uh, an example store of his. You'll see a lot of these uh, have filters on them, so if you want to see a specific product, you can filter it down. And if this is your store, then you can customize your page however you like. It allows you to choose uh, different parts of the design to change the color. If I want to change the text color, I can make it lighter or darker, and all kinds of different colors. And the same is true of all the different aspects of the, um, of the store display. So if you want to sell an item, this is familiar to most people who've used e-commerce platforms, you just put in the name of the item, the price, the shipping, how many are available, keywords that you want to add for people to be able to find it through search. Which type of item it is. It can be either digital, physical, or a service. It's condition, if it's not safe for work or not. Here you can choose a moderator as well. This will be changed, but uh, for now um, you can either choose uh, ones that you've already sort of selected, or you can just choose direct payment and then it allows you to put in a product description. You can have um, up to five photos, your primary photo, and then four other photos. And when you save it, it will go into your store here. Other options are to view your purchases in the past, and again, you can filter these to look yeah, just find what you need. Your sales, if you're a vendor. And then cases, cases that are pending, if there's been a dispute that needs moderation as well. In your settings, you have the option to change the things that you set up on the onboarding process. Uh, you can handle your shipping addresses, your Bitcoin keys, and then there's some advanced options that most users won't need.
course, we have similar uh, navigation back and forth, uh, like any browser would. And I think that that's about it. Oh, on, on this side as well, we have chat. So you'll be able to click on a user and open a chat um, window and speak with them directly. So the UI is will be completed in, uh, in the next few weeks. And then we start wiring up the back end JavaScript and then integrate it into the rest of the platform in order to launch um, late fall.